What's happening, my curious bunch of health fanatics? Something worth knowing about is ketosis and how to manipulate it. Your body is a machine that requires fuel. If you are not feeding your body with carbohydrates, then your body needs fuel from elsewhere, and that will be your fat reserves. Whilst this sounds good and can be easily achieved by fasting or with calorie restriction or calorie deficits, if you are depriving yourself of carbohydrates and exercising energetically, then your body may start to produce an excessive amount of ketones. But we will get back to the pros and cons of ketones shortly. Ketosis, or fat burning mode, does not kick in immediately after reducing carbohydrate consumption. You have to eat very little carbohydrates for a few days, possibly less than 500 grams of low sugar, low carb food per day for three days for the most noticeable fat burning to take effect. Even though 500 grams of low carbohydrate food sounds like a tiny amount with our modern diets, it is in fact not that low if you eat as nature intended. So for example, a standard tomato may, ca may contain 2.4 grams of carbohydrate. A carrot contains about six grams. As you can see, if you eat the right foods and keep them interesting, you will never go hungry. If you have high levels of ketones in your body, it can cause ketoacidosis. But this is only usually for type one and type two diabetics to worry about. Nutritional ketosis from dieting and exercise is quite safe and we have been doing it for millions of years. So why is this knowledge relevant for your anti-aging regime? Well, carrying extra weight not only causes a myriad of health issues and speeds up aging, it increases your risk of disease and dying. So knowing how to drop those extra pounds and kilos is essential for living a longer, healthier life. Ketosis is different than fasting. However, you can instigate ketosis, or what we like to call fat burning mode, while fasting. For example, let's say you are performing the five and two fasting diet. You eat normally for five days, but then eat hardly anything on two days, such as Tuesday and Thursday. You could easily put yourself into effective ketosis by eating around three to 400 grams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of low sugar, low calorie foods. This would not only give you the anti-aging effect of regeneration, lower blood pressure, etc., but would almost be a slam dunk for your weight loss. If you are inexperienced at dieting, you might find it hard at first, but stick with it. Try one day, then two days, you will end up getting there. Research foods, find ones that fill you up but are low in carbs and calories. Soups are a great start as they are mostly water. Other food ideas could be super low calorie protein shakes with spinach or broccoli. This will fill you up, repair tissues and deliver amino acids for, for protein synthesis. But it can also keep you in fat burning mode. There are plenty of options that you can choose from. So get literate with what foods are packed with energy and what foods are packed with nutrients, but very little energy at the same time. Learn to read the calorie amounts on every food you eat. Note, you can feel tired during ketosis, and this usually means you are in the fat loss zone, so it's a good thing. Your urge to eat may be great. So again, find something that can fill you up with practically zero calories, such as a cup of watery soup or even some popcorn with nothing on it, as those are mostly air. If you are thinking about entering ketosis, have a set of scales and watch how quickly you lose weight over the coming days. Always chat with your doctor first about data you see online, as everybody is different. Smash that thumbs up button as it greatly helps with the YouTube algorithm and remember to subscribe or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.